Hey sixth graders, welcome to your first week of distance learning. You'll see a few differences in how um, the agenda is set up. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that it's going to be a week overview. The video directions will also give you an overview of the week. So for example, this video is going to give you an overview of the entire week of February 16th through the 19th. A lot of your assignments will also have directional videos embedded into them, so you can look for those. The other thing that is a little bit different is we won't be meeting every single day. You will be meeting, um, you'll be joining my third hour class live every week on Monday and Wednesday. So this week we'll just have one on Wednesday and that will be at 1045. And I have the link right here on the agenda. When you're following the agenda, make sure that you're following the one that's highlighted in yellow that says distance learning. I believe it's the only one that you can view, but I'm assuming that you can also access the other one for the face-to-face -face learners. Um, I just want to make sure that you're doing the correct activities and assignments. All right, so this week, um, no school on Monday because of President's Day. On Tuesday, you will be doing some simple machines notes. So if we click on that link, it will bring us to the Schoology assignment. I have a little bit of a slow internet issue today, of course. And what this is, is we are starting um, talking about simple machines. So the first thing you will do is you will open up your My Document, which is a graphic organizer of the different types of simple machines. It says read the article and fill in the graphic organizer on the next slide. So as that loads, I'll click on the other thing. So the book that you'll use is the Simple Machines book right here. My goodness, nothing is loading. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so here's what the graphic organizer looks like. So as you read, um, you'll define simple machine up here, and then for each of the simple machines, you'll write how it works. You'll find a picture online and insert it in there, and then write some examples of that simple machine. For other, you can add any other information you want, uh, particularly for lever, I want you to write what the fulcrum is. So this shouldn't be brand new information. You did do some of this last year. So um, hopefully you remember a little bit about simple machines. So as soon as this loads, it's a book and you'll read through it. Uh, there is There will be an audio link on the top of each page as well that I will put on there if you wanna listen to it, all right? So that is what you are doing for Tuesday, okay? Then on Wednesday, you're gonna start looking at this Rube Goldberg activity. And um, we also have a live meet at 1045, so I'll be explaining some things there. So for this activity, you are going to be working on this same activity for uh, Wednesday and Thursday of this week, and then also Monday and Tuesday of next week. So don't panic when you see this whole big slideshow here, because it really, it's over a lot of days. All right, so this is what will open up when you first open it. And what we're looking at is we're looking at a guy named Rube Goldberg, and maybe some of you have heard of him before, but his cartoon inventions used combinations of simple machines to accomplish uh, some different tasks. And they were usually pretty simple tasks that aren't difficult to do. Um, so basically he made them more complicated. Um, but in the slideshow in your My Documents, we're gonna follow the directions and see if you can label the simple machines. And there's a lot of different steps through this. So this um, calendar kind of breaks it down. So what you're gonna be doing Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, you have a, you're not working on this, there's a different assignment. And then Monday and Tuesday, which slide numbers to do. So when you open that up, on these different slides, here's the calendar again for you. On uh, the first day, you're gonna look at who is Rube Goldberg. And so you're gonna click on the link down here and just learn a little bit about him. There's a cool video in there as well, so make sure you watch that. And then on these slides, these are uh, some little pieces from Rube Goldberg's cartoons. And so I want you to write in each of the purple boxes uh, what you think, what type of simple machine you think that is representing. And you can come back and change these later on as you're working through this slideshow because maybe you have to make a guess now and later on you'll know better. So don't worry about being wrong at this point. 
Then you're going to read, uh, look at some of Rube Goldberg's cartoons. And if you go into present mode on these ones, you can see it better. But for this one, you are finding and circling one lever and two pulleys. And to do that, you just drag the circles where you think they are. And you'll do that for this one and for this one as well. So that's what you are doing on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, you are going to start on slide nine. And so the rest of the slideshow, what it does is it talks about each of the different types of simple machines and has you do some activities with them. So it, there's suggested materials that you can use to build some different simple machines. If you don't have those machines at home or those materials at home, find something that might be similar to those and see what you can come up with. Okay, so I want you to try each one. So on Thursday, you're going to look at a lever. So you read about it on the first slide and then on the second slide, it tells you what to do. Now, everywhere there's a blue box, you're gonna fill something in and this box will actually be blue once you get it. And then you're also gonna do incline plane on Thursday. Then next week, you will uh, finish the rest of this on Monday and Tuesday with the rest of the simple machines. I'm not going to go through them all right now. Then finally, on Friday of this week, you are going to click on the link here. And this is one that you're doing the same thing as everyone in the classroom. So um, there's a study guide for simple machines. Now your quiz isn't going to be for a couple of weeks on it, but we're going to use the next two Fridays to work on the study guide and also practice on the Quizlet. Okay, so as soon as this loads with my slow loading computer today, there we go. You will make a copy of the Simple Machines study guide by clicking here. And then you'll use this slideshow to help you fill in the study guide. Okay. And then there's a link to the Quizlet. So I'd say start filling in the study guide. Uh, if you have time, do maybe 10 minutes on the Quizlet. You will also have next week on Friday to finish the study guide and practice the Quizlet some more. All right. So that is uh, what you are doing this week. On Fridays, I do have appointment slots available for distance learners. So my hours are between 9.30 and 11.30, and you can click on the link to sign up for an appointment slot. And then just make sure you remember to show up for that appointment slot and get some help. They're 15 minutes, but if you have any questions or need help with anything, make sure you utilize that. Also email me if you have any questions at any other time, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, note, just know that I do have students in my classroom as well, but I'll try to check it at least a few times a day. Okay, so have a great day and I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday at the Google Meet. Bye.